This was the state of a horse after it was found near Hale in the New Forest. Witnesses say they saw a man in his late 20s walking the horse by this pub and down the ridge. It was later found by a cattle grid after sustaining severe injuries. Whilst this horse may live to see another day, this one won't. The injuries were so bad it had to be put down. A horse charity says it's awful. It's despicable. There is no reason that somebody should feel that this is their only option to abandon and effectively dump this pony. Um, th just last week we've heard how the RSPCA have been called out to incidents where they've had to literally rummage through a rubbish pile to find the body of, of a horse on certainly more than one occasion. It's deplorable and there is no excuse for it. There's lots of options out there for people to ask for help. Now more and more of these cases are happening here in Hampshire. And this latest one comes just a week after it was revealed that horse cruelty had gone up in the county. In 2017, officers from the RSPCA received more than 480 complaints about horses in Hampshire. The charity also rescued more than 50 of the animal, which rose from 30 in 2016. They say the county received the third highest number of complaints in the country, putting it behind Kent and Durham. We're in the, the midst of the welfare crisis, we have been since 2012 and things just aren't simply getting any better. In this particular situation we're appealing for anybody that might have dash cam footage or maybe CCV TV on a property. Um, we're looking for this person, there is a description of a male, late 20s, approximately 5 foot 9. With the numbers of cases rising and Hampshire seeming to be in the middle of a horse welfare crisis. What sorts of problems are they facing? We've had a notoriously difficult winter this year um, and some, of the, the, some people have found more difficulties arising because of that. Um, we've seen everything from underweight horses to horses with constant reoccurring abscesses in their feet. But the, the real issue is about how people go about dealing with any problems that come up. Um, we reiterate that keeping the horse is the costly part. But Penny is hoping more could be done to stop the numbers in horse cruelty rising in the years to come. I think we, we have to, as a nation, take responsibility for our own actions. And that means, as we say, putting thought into the full process before you take on a horse. Um, we also have to play a part in being vigilant for those people who are doing things such as this incident where the horses are being discarded. And we all have to work together in partnership, all of the charities and agencies, in order to try and tackle the crisis. Daniel Padwick, that's TV.